Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to set up a computer running Aster system and how to monitor it on the laptop. Like a, this is going to be the master PC running Vion system right here, and each one of the screens show it separately on the Vion. Okay, now the first step is going to the master PC and download and install Vion. Let's see how to do it. Open your internet browser like this and put the website vion.io. Just click on the load button, choose your, your correct version like this, Windows 64 bit. Okay, now I've, I'm gonna start. Yes, I'm gonna load this app to perform some changes on my device. I'm gonna close the Google Chrome app. Now on the installation screen, you're going to click on the next button. I agree. Next. Let everything in this way install. Okay. Just a few seconds. Let this check it. Run Vion Configurator now. Click on finish. Okay. Now this is the main screen to perform the configurations. So we're gonna maximize this window, you're gonna click the key icon, create a new pair of keys, choose a name like lab, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put lab, okay, yes, this is a message confirming the keys, okay, and places and computers, you have to set up the main location, the main place, click on the plus button and put the name like lab. Right here on the computer's side, you can click on the plus button, insert the name like the PC1. Okay, now the IP address. I'm gonna to, uh, insert the IP address for, uh, of my computer running Aster. I have four screens running different contents, like each one of them is uh, one extension. So imagine this scenario. I have an IP, just one IP address in my computer, 192.168.0.10. I'm gonna insert this right now, 192.168.0.10. Okay, I'm gonna uh, add another computer, PC2. Okay, now the same address, 0.10. Okay, now I'm gonna apply the Sphinx asking me to restart the service. Okay, I'm gonna restart it. And now I'm gonna minimize and open this icon right here. Biomaster on the left side of the screen shows me a lab checkbox. I'm gonna check it. Okay, now shows me the two computers. I have these two screens to be my students' computers. Now I'm, I'm gonna install the Vion system and perform some configurations to run perfectly on my master PC. I'm gonna minimize right here and I have to copy the public key file to my student computer. Right here, I'm gonna open the Windows Explorer, local disk, program data. If it's not showing to you, you must click on view and check the hidden eatings checkbox. Okay, now let's uncheck it and does not show uh, the program data file folder anymore. Gonna check it. Okay, program data, Vion, keys, public, lab. This is the file that I need. I'm gonna copy and paste on my student computer. Right here I have the file. So I'm gonna install in this computer the Vion system too. So I'm gonna to website file.io, just click on download. Same version of my system, Windows 64-bit. Uh, it's downloading the file. I'm gonna click to run, run. Okay, now I'm gonna close the Google Chrome. Next, I agree. Next, uncheck the Vion Master line right here. Okay, now just click on install and just wait. I'm gonna run the Vion configurator now. Finish button. Okay, now maximize the window. Click on the key icon authentication keys click on import key you have to search for the for the key file on desktop doesn't show right here you can put this asterisk dot asterisk and hit enter now this is the key file open you have to set the same number 
that you create on the master PC lab in case. Okay, now it's working just like that. But you have to cli uh, click on service icon right here. You have to change local session mode to multi session mode. Okay, it's very important to do this change. And now you just have to click on apply. It's asking me to restart the service. Okay, yes. Okay, now we're gonna see the master PC. As you can see, I'm gonna minimize right here. I have two stations right here on my desk and the master PC. And the master PC just is showing this screen, not the two of them, because it's just one IP address. Now you can think, okay, I'm gonna set the IP address to 11, this to 10, and okay. But it doesn't work in this way. You must choose to set an environment variable via underlying session underline ID and put the number of the session would you like to use. Like this screen, uh, for example. I'm gonna to open the star menu and start typing to search in the Windows configuration system. Environment. Oh, like this. Edit the system environment variables. Okay, just hit enter open a small box, click on this environment variables uh, button. Okay, now I have my variables to my user. Jonatex is my user. I'm gonna create a new variable, hitting the new button. Variable name, uppercase, bio, underline, session, underline, id. Now I have to set the number. I'm gonna to insert number one. Okay, click on OK and OK to easy. Okay, now I have to set up my master PC to look up the IP address uh, 192.168.0.10, but uh, on the section ID number one to my user PC. How can I do this? On your master PC, you, go, you have to close the Vion Master app, open the Vion Configurator right here on places and computers. On the PC1 line, you have to insert some characters like a column indicating a port who the Vion system is gonna to watch and monitoring this station instead of a, just a one computer. I'm gonna to insert the port of a vial. Uh, the port is 11100. Is the main port of your Vion app. So with this port, I'm gonna to see the same configuration, but I can replace the 00 number to a number of my session ID. I have set this computer to uh, session ID number one. So the host IP address is gonna be 01 the final. Okay, you see two, I'm gonna to change it to 11102 and I'm gonna to click on the button apply okay yes yeah, gonna restart the system so with this configuration I have two sections to monitoring the section one and I'm gonna to set up this screen this user to session ID number two so okay I'm gonna minimize this and open Venom master on the master PC okay nothing happened right here just one more configuration to do uh, on the student pc okay now i'm gonna hit our menu and and search for task scheduler this is in portuguese because my computer is in portuguese language but it's the task scheduler okay now i have to click uh, on this line task scheduler and uh, with the right button on the mouse, click on create basic task. You have to set the name to the task. Why this? I'm gonna to run a file every time my user log in in the Windows. So I'm gonna to name it Vion underline PC1. Okay, next. When do you want to the task to start? When I log on. Next. Start a program. Okay. Which program? Browser. Now you have to seek on your PC the local disk, program files, mm, vial. Right here we have a several files, but this is the one. Vial server. Okay, open, next, okay, and finish. So every time I perform the login on my user Jonatech, I have to trigger the session ID number one. So I'm going to click right here on Task Schedule Library. Look this, Vion the 
PC1. I'm going to click with the right button and clicking on run. Look at my master PC. It's working. Look this. I have the screen running. I'm going to perform the same configuration on the screen. Now, first step, environment variables. Environment variables. Now I'm going to click on the button environment variables. Again, now type on new, insert on the name Vio underline section underline ig and put the value of the variable uh, another number. This is uh, session ig number one. Now session ig is gonna have to number two. Okay, okay, and okay. Now you're gonna to create a task to run on a, a task scheduler. You're gonna click on right button, create a basic task name. Vion underline PC2, for example. Next, to log on. Next, I start a program. Next, I'm gonna choose seek uh, on local disk, program files, Vion, and Vion server. Okay, next, finish. Click on uh, task library, uh, search for your, for your task that you created right now. Now, click with the right button and click on run. So you can see on my master PC it's running. I have the two screens running on my Vio Master app. Now I can click on the block computer working. Unlock the computer working as well. So just do these configurations and you're gonna be just fine. Uh, right here to remember, you have to perform uh, to create the session ID variable uh, on this uh, IP address. Now on your master PC, you have to set each one of the computers with the IP address and add the port of the VIOM system. Column one 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 zero zero to the main screen and you can uh, set every section to one computer. So remember environment variable and a task to run at a, a logon. Okay? I know my English is, is kind of confusing, but if you'd like more help please comment something below and I'm gonna to I'm gonna try to help you. So this is it. Okay, to the next. Thank you.